Hi, this is Asin. Today I would like to share how to solve second order non homogeneous differential equation with fx equal to any exponential function. Let's straight go to example. As we discussed last time, what we have to do first is, a, is to first obtain the associated homogeneous function. So what we have to do is convert this associated homogeneous function to a quadratic function. So m squared second order plus 5m plus 6 equal to 0. Then we do factorization m plus 2 times m plus 3 equal to 0. So it means that m equal to negative 2 or negative 3. So our complementary function is y equal to ae negative 2x plus be negative 3x. a and b are any arbitrary constant. Okay, now what we have to do is solve the remaining part. Okay, first we need to let our particular integral as a e as we can see 4x here. So we just write 4x. Then what we have to do here is we have to differentiate for two times because we have second order here. So we differentiate for the first time we obtain 4a e 4x. Then we differentiate again for the second time that we have 16ae 4x. Then what we have to do here is substitute everything here into this equation. So second order, the second derivative. So 16ae 4x plus 5, the first derivative here, times 4 a e 4x then plus 6 a e 4x then equal to e 4x then we simplify everything okay as you can see here we have common part e 4x e 4x e 4x and e 4x so we just divide the whole equation by e 4x so left one here then 16a plus 5 times 4a, 20a plus 6a equal to 42a. This means that a equal to 1 over 42. So our particular integral equal to 1 over 42 times e to the power of 4x. So our general solution for this differential equation equal to y equal to yc plus yp. So we have a e negative 2x plus b e negative 3x plus 1 over 42 e to the power of 4x. Okay, then we done. Now let us go to the second example with the same associated homogeneous equation. As we can see here, one of the term in the complementary function having a term that is exactly the same as the one given in the non-homogeneous equation. So if let's say we let the particular integral as a times e to the power of negative 3x, what will happen here is we already created an offsetting effect among this homogeneous Equation. So what can we do here is we have to increase a degree for this function means that we times a x here. After that only we differentiate. So we differentiate okay using product rule dy dx equal to u dv dx plus v du dx. So we have equal to a constant we take up. So u is x, then times dv dx. So differentiate negative 3 e negative 3 x. Then plus v is e to the power of 3 x, then times du dx. Differentiate x, we have 1. Okay, then we simplify, so we times in. 
so negative 3 a x e to the power negative 3 x plus a e to the power negative 3 x okay then we differentiate for the second time so as we can see here this part is exactly the same as this part so it means that the derivative is this one so we just copy and paste here 3 a is constant so we take out 3 a so we have negative 3 x e to the power negative 3 x plus e to the power negative 3 x then we differentiate this part a constant so remain a then differentiate we have negative 3 e to the power negative 3 x okay then we simplify negative 3 times negative 3 so positive 9 a x e to the power negative 3 x then minus times plus so minus 3 a e to the power negative 3 x okay then minus again negative 3 so we have total of negative 6 okay after that we substitute 1 2 3 into this equation so we have second order so 9 a x e to the power negative 3 x minus 6 a e to the power negative 3 x then plus 5 so 5 times of the first derivative times 5 so we have 5 times 13 we have negative 15 a x e to the power negative 3 x then 5 times a e to the power negative 3 x then plus 6 times of the first derivative so 6 a x e to the power negative 3 x then the whole thing equal to 4 e to the power negative 3 x okay so what can we do here we just compare the coefficient as we can see here the right side don't have the term x so it means that the coefficient of x is equal to 0 so we just cancel off this okay after that then we have common term here so we just can divide both sides by e to the power of negative 3 x so leaving 4 then we have negative 6 a plus 5 a so we have negative a equal to a equal to negative 4 so it means that our particular integral is equal to negative 4x e to the power negative 3x we substitute a into this particular integral so our general solution for this differential equation is equal to yc plus yp which is a e negative 2x plus b e negative 3x minus 4x e to the power negative 3x then we done okay a uh, one last example for today okay as usual we solve the associated homogeneous part first so m square plus 4m plus 4 equal to 0 so we factorize as usual so m plus 2 times m plus 2 equal to 0 this means that we have 2 but equal roots which is negative 2 so it means that our complementary function is a plus bx times e to the power of negative 2x or we have a e negative 2x plus bx e to the power of negative 2x okay now that let us do for the particular integral so we let yp equal to okay this is exponential so a e to the power negative 2x okay as we can see here we have a common term again so if let's say we use this one again the equation cannot be solved so 
If let's say we type x here, we still have a common term, exactly the same here. So what can we do here is increase another degree. So it means that we times x again. So we have x squared here. Okay, then only we differentiate. So y p first derivative we have a constant we take out then we use product rule. So u x squared then dv dx is negative 2 e negative 2 x then plus v e to the power negative 2 x and differentiate. Okay, then we simplify we have negative 2 a x squared e negative 2 x then plus a times 2 x we have 2 a x then e negative 2 x okay then we differentiate again okay as we can see here we have common part here this part is same as this part okay so we just copy and paste so negative 2 a is constant so we take out and we copy paste negative 2x squared e negative 2x then plus 2x e negative 2x okay then we differentiate the remaining part constant we take out 2a okay then we differentiate ux then dv dx is negative 2 e negative 2x then plus v e negative 2x differentiate u is 1 okay then we simplify so negative negative positive 2 times 2 4 so 4 a x squared e negative 2 x okay negative 2 a times positive 2 x so we have negative 4 a x e to the power negative 2 x then positive 2a times negative 2x. So it's negative 4ax. Okay, negative 4ax minus 4ax. So we have 8ax. Okay, then positive 2a times 1. So we have 2ae negative 2x. Okay, after that we substitute everything into the equation so we have second order first so 4ax squared e negative 2x minus 8ax e to the power negative 2x plus 2ae negative 2x then plus 4 times of first derivative plus 4 times of the first derivative so we have negative 2 a x square e negative 2 x plus 2 a x e negative 2 x okay then plus 4 times of the particular integral a x square e negative 2 x and this is equal to e negative 2 x okay so what can we do here is we just compare okay compare both sides okay so as we can see here the coefficient okay we don't have a part for x here so as long as with the one with x we just cancel okay with x cancel because it will result zero we x cancel x cancel x cancel x cancel so leaving only this part so it means that we have 2a e negative 2x equal to e negative 2x so we cancel cancel so it means that a equal to 1 over 2 2 times a bring over become divide so it means that our particular integral is equal to substitute a into this function we have 1 over 2x squared e to the power negative 2x so our final answer is supposed to be y equal to yc plus yp so a e negative 2x plus bx e negative 2x 
plus 1 over 2x square e negative 2x. Then we're done. Okay, that's all for today. Thanks for watching. Hope you like this. See you.